and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat. I don't think I could do a 24 hour stream. And uh, YouTube, if you're watching this video later on over there, for some more quasi dupla ooze, we're changing our deck up just the tiniest of bit. So we've had it to dive downs in the main deck here. And I think we're going to move away from the dive downs and just kind of put in a couple of negates instead. Negate is just uh, a more versatile card, a better card against a more variety of decks, I believe. Um, so we're just going to, yeah, let's go ahead and have these negates in here. And that, that took out two sideboard slots because we had four negates in the sideboard. So we get a disdainful stroke in the sideboard for the um, soul time matchup in particular, how they have a lot of cards that you want to counter, but also things that, that cost um, more than four that are not just non-creature spells. They have like Hostage Taker and Hydroid Crisis, things like that you need to counter. But Disdainful Stroke still good against Wilderness Reclamation and Esper Control as well. So good amount of matchups for it there. And then also getting a Ripjaw Raptor in here for another body to uh, be able to play against the aggro decks uh, for another defensive aspect to the deck. So that's our plan here. Um, as you can tell, we got four popular decks uh, up on the docket today. And let's go ahead and get started with some quasi dupla ooze. Whew. I gotta, you know, like, so Sunday we did that, uh, the sub battle stream. So I didn't get any of the, the stuff from the sub battle stream. And yesterday I uh, took the day off, wasn't, uh, you know, feeling the best and everything, took, took yesterday off. And so now we got a lot of gold to, to earn today and packs. A lot of gold and packs. Go traditional constructed. All right, we'll see if we can get some five win leagues today. Oh, I should be I should be Vanifar for my avatar. I want to put this. Right under there. Well, we got Quasi Duplicates and Biogenic Oozes. So hopefully we stay alive long enough to be able to cast some Biogenic Oozes and then start copying them. We'll see the opponent's got a really fast start with double Land War Elf. I'm glad we have Negate instead of Dive Down, though. Because drop a Vivian here, we'll be able to counter it. Oh no! Well, that's not a Vivian. All right, we need a top deck of land. Top deck of land. Ugh. Hmm. It's probably game. I'm considering just quasi duplicating one of these things just to have a chump blocker. No, I mean, this is just game. Yeah, that's not bad, jo Johnny Popeye. That's a good idea. Sorry that you waited the 12 hours the other day. I wonder if I should just have like signups. I don't think I actually sideboard. Could have disdainful stroke instead of negate, but you know that was that was the first. 
That was the first, you know, uh, iteration of the sub battle day. And while I do like the the random part of it, I do like that is a, a real feel bad for how like Johnny was saying. Um, if you, you know, Johnny was here like all day, you know, trying to join and never could. That's that's certainly a feel bad. Unfortunate. Yeah, so it probably is good to reward the people that are here most of the day. It's just the the problem with the sign up thing that I was worried about was people not being here for when it's their turn. Or, you know, like not being in chat and, and you know being like me like Matthew, it's your turn, Matthew. What are you where where are you at, Matthew? And and you know, then, like, you know, Matthew's gone and done something else for a little bit, and and that kind of stuff. That's That was, like, my worry with this draw card. With doing the... Um, Yeah, you had, to, you had to leave a couple of times. So that's... That's why we're with doing, like, the sign-up. Is, yeah, like, people will have to leave for, for certain things and everything. And, and I can't do, like, a sign-up for a time and be like, okay, well, you play at 4.30, you play at 5. Because, you know, like, matches don't just really happen like that. I'm feeling pretty good, Omeniglar. Omeniglar, yeah. That was a nice day off. Could definitely use that. Wow. Our opponents just kind of got lots of different things going on over here. Ooh. That's a pretty nice mending. Hit a fine broker. Hit, put two fine brokers in the yard. Grab a fine broker that grabs the other fine broker. That's pretty nice. I don't have enough blue sources to double duplicate. I don't have enough, and I'm one mana short of activating Biogenicus. Yeah, I tried to do, yeah, I tried to do as many matches as I could. I didn't really want to take, like, breaks and stuff yeah I wanted to, so yeah 29 matches that was that was a lot of fun and yeah there's a lot of really cool decks and everything so how would it work for hmm that's just the wild growth walker so I can play the basically so I can play the land and activate news so if we did like jump the line if you support the sponsors, how would that even really work? Because then it, it would incentivize people to not support sponsors until the until the sub day. So they support before that. Or maybe like Uh, no, Vivian. Yeah, Vivian is usually going to be better than uh, Domri. There. I would say it's probably best to wait on your Mythic Rare Wild card of like what to use. It's probably not best to use it immediately unless unless you know exactly what you want to use your Mythic Rare Wild card on. I'd say be patient. 
on that. Because, um, yeah, you know, being a free-to-play player, the Mythic Rare wild cards are, are really valuable. And while Vivian's a better card than Domri, you know, Vivian does rotate out May, June, July, August, September in, like, almost six months, like five months and three weeks. So you'd have, like, that long to play Vivian in Standard. Plus there's, you know, we're basically two weeks away now. Two and a half weeks away ish from having a, from having a new set with new cards and everything. Ah, uh, yeah, for best of one and everything. So, yeah, basically, you know your deck a lot better than than I do. Also, so it's, but basically, you need you need to make sure. You know, you need to make sure that whatever card you get, you really want it. And so, basically, I wouldn't say, don't be hasty in making that decision. Yeah, so, like... So Johnny says, so if we if you support a, a sponsor, and you know have it down that you get get something from a sponsor, then you could be on a separate list. Where if you're like, hey, I, I would like to play here, that could be tough too, because other sub battle streams I'll probably have it as just like seven hours, so it won't be doing as many. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the best way to for that is. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But I see I see your point, Johnny. Um And you know, I do I do want to give everybody a chance. Yeah, I think I can attack with all next turn. Yep. There's four blockers, blocks 10, 11, 10, 11, and then that's 8, 16, 24, 29, 34, 35, 38, 39, Ooh, plus another 8, so that's 47, plus another 2 is a 49. So f they're at 14, we're dealing 49. Probably enough. Okay, it looks like it was just enough. Alright, so game three. I don't think I want the negates now that we've seen their deck more. Let's get this disdainful stroke in here and an entrancing melody. Let's do that. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was lethal. Just enough. Yeah, Ixalan was a really good set. Like I thought, I thought Ixalan was a good, good to block. I thought the tribes were pretty good. Dinosaurs, vampires, merfolk, and the Parades. That was a, a good block. So our land war elf does like more damage than theirs, right? Sure look sure looks like it should. So let's say we draw another land here. Am I just throwing down Krasis? Am I just cycling Krasis again? I'd love to draw a Jade Light Ranger. That'd be nice. Let's 
I'll take any spell. I don't want to draw a land. All right, that's pretty nice. Well, we found those lands. Yeah, Divination Ranger is always good. Hopefully we draw. Ugh, there's that Nissa. Let's see if you're I've seen things that Alright, so let's attack like you. Vivian with all six power that we have on the battlefield here. Oh my gosh. That made this a lot better. So if Marwin blocks the Jade Light to trade, then it... Vivian dies. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? Now we can have a 4-4 Krasis next turn. Oh, did I say Nyssa? Well, sorry, Vivian. You can't stop. I was reading nature. through the War of the Spark cards earlier today, so I guess I was thinking about Nyss Nyssa. Hmm. Not bad. Down, down. Maybe I should have copied Wild Growth Walker first. It's doing good today, Papa Tim. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. Oh right, that thing has death touch. Yeah, I should have copied Wild Growth Walker first. I think we're gonna be okay though. We're at 42. No one knows the wilds like I do. We got this crisis coming up later. I think we're gonna be just fine. Bells and block. Again. So next turn, we'll be able to have crisis for six if we want. Be able to, you know, be just as big as the bells and lock and draw three. Bone dragon. That's a cool one. Our opponent doesn't play another creature. Even if they do play another creature, now they... Yeah, so we just have lethal now. Ugh. See, so let's say they just played the bells and lock. They could have blocked four and four. They would have taken four, seven, 10, 13. So yeah, they still would have just taken 13. Exactly legal. Bone Dragon in the Zombies deck? Potentially. I 
That could be something. You just can just exile any. You just exile any seven cards from your graveyard, right? Hey, Jelly, with the cheer. Yay, MTG bot sub. Thanks, Dan. All right, let's see. We cannot keep Island Island and all of those things. <laughs> Bone Dragon isn't very good, yeah. Yep, MTG Bot loves being subscribed. Gets all those emotes in the chat. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Yay! Do we want... Alright, so opponents had six cards also. Am I on the play or on the draw? I don't even know. Do I want a second WoW Growth Walker? Like, maybe. I'm gonna go to the bottom. If something happens to this land war else, we're gonna need more green mana. Thank you so much, Dan. It also says, hey Todd, I'm trying your Sultai Sanity feeling stronger than the mid-range version. Awesome, yeah. I think the Sultai Sanity is great against, like, control decks and things like that. I'm, I'm a little worried about that deck, Sultai Sanity against aggro. But maybe it's good enough there, too. Going pretty good today, Zerf. Yeah, hope you're having a good day. We are just starting here. We figured we'll win in our first match. Hmm. Looks like Esper Control with budget mana base. So if I play Wild Growth Walker and then Land War Elf dies, I could get stuck with like a bunch of stuff in my hand. Or if I play Wild Growth Walker and then like Zion has Absorb next turn for the Jade Light, that would be bad also because I, I kind of need this Jade Light to hit land drops. So I'm, I'm honestly considering just playing the Jade Light here. I definitely consider that a lot, but I'm gonna go with the with the Walker. I think it's important to have a large Wild Growth Walker. Otherwise, like the Wild Growth will just not do anything. So we would have explored the Druid to the graveyard. If we would have played this last turn. You went to work earlier than normal, so you left at 3? That's perfect. See, you just need to do that e each day, so then you can be here for the stream. Gotta change those work hours, so... Sit back and have the stream on all evening. And then perfect, and now that all worked out perfectly. Waiting on the Jade Light Ranger. Really glad the opponent didn't kill the Land War Elf. And we would have explored the druid over into the graveyard and then drawn harbor. And then draw forest return, but we still we get all of the cards. We still get the druid in our hand and get the harbor and the forest. Yeah, J Light did its job perfectly. What are we doing here? So I guess at this point, I should just I should just play the branch walker. Yeah, I should just play the branch walker. I want to hold up negate. I should just play the branch walker. 
Sorry, uh, adding a Feather of the Redeemed, a Cranko, a couple Chandra, a couple Solar Blaze, the Nia Legend main board. Maybe. I don't know if... I guess Feather of the Redeemed is just a 3-mana, three 3-4 three, flyer. That's probably good enough. Yeah, poor opponent. Yeah, with the budget lands. Three color control where every single land comes into play tapped. It's a little brutal. I suddenly do not feel bad anymore. <laughs> no, the crisis. If they have an instant speed removal spell here, this would be brutal. Alright, not as bad for me. The Absorb. Hey, good afternoon, DJM. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Did they brick? Okay. Not a brick. <laughs> Nothing phases me. You're not welcome here anymore. Attacking for five right now. Alright, so we'll have We'll just get rid of this, Kaya. Just in case there's a wrath, just get it out out of here. And we'll hold the breeding pool for this quasi duplicate if we need it. Uh James, thanks for that resub there saying Tossians is the best, we don't mind the rest. Please bless with RNG for together is the key. You're so nice, James. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, sub battle countdown for our next one is down to 89. So, is this does this mean that this is a brick or Going to game two, or not. Just the roping and then Kaya's Wrath. Maybe roping and then settle. <laughs> Bone Dragon was the, the previous opponent, not this one. What's Jaya's greeting? I don't... Is that... Is that like the two mana, two damage, divide it? Main deck negate was really critical for us that game. Uh, 
Uh, three damage to a creature plus scry one for for two. Yeah, that card's. Yeah, that's a solid, very solid spell. So let's get rid of Wild Growth Walker as well, and get some Crushing Canopies in here. Just want to make sure I have plenty of answers to uh, Lyra Dawnbringer. And Crushing Canopy can be used on various enchantments like Search for Escanta. Hmm. I mean, I love having Branch Walker on turn two. And I like hitting land drops. Still think this may be a mulligan, though. We have a whole lot more cards, but this is riskier. Alright, that's good. That's a land. We we need Jade Light to resolve. We don't need Jade Light to resolve as bad anymore. <laughs> hey, Jelly Tug. I don't know. I don't know why Twitch didn't get you that notification. But glad you're here. Say moi, good evening. Perfect Jade Light. Against control, you just want card advantage Jade Light. Yeah, I was surprised the ooze was the take, honestly. I thought the ooze was the least impactful card in the hand at the time. All right, nine more turns. Frilled Mystic and Insight. Maybe not. I guess it depends if the It would have depended if the the counselors inside if would have put them at like needing to discard the next turn or or what um Okay. 1 2 3 4. But yeah, probably. I like I like countering insights more than a, a lot of people do. I mean, two cards is, you know, it's getting rid of two cards is a big deal. So we could Vivian with negate backup. I don't really know why we wouldn't do that. So here, I think, I think I can let this resolve so I can have Vivian and then negate afterwards to protect Vivian. The wilds are my shield. Dang, there's two more negates at the bottom now. And the crushing canopy. Ah, disdainful stroke already coming through. Meet my newest friend. Yeah, I don't think our opponent has a chance anymore. So I already played a land. Uh, one, two, three, four. If I play Jade Light, then I do not have Frilled Mystic plus Negate. 
I guess I could, I could have branch walkered and then frilled mystic plus negate. So I guess I should have branch walkered. Branch walker would put lethal there. But yeah, frilled mystic does as well. All right, so changes as putting in negate main deck and then having an extra counter spell with that disdainful stroke in the sideboard looked really good there. Everything lined up well. Oh, yeah, definitely making Super Friends decks after war drops. Yeah, absolutely. We're playing a Super Friends deck later on, but yeah, absolutely. Uh, probably multiple Super Friends decks in different colors and everything. I'm going to be buying packs of War of the Spark when it comes out with that amount of, with the gold I have. Please play Teferi. Please play Teferi. Please play Teferi. Come on. Dang it. Dang it. No, my Vivian. Let's attack this here to fairy. Do you want me to phase you out of time? I don't even care what you do, Teferi. You can do whatever you want. And of course, this is probably absorb whatever we do. So we'll just throw out divination crisis, draw two. If it gets countered, it's okay. Because it still drew its two. Quasi Duplicate is not a very good card against a deck full with, you know, instant speed interaction and everything. We need to move quickly. So we do not want to be drawing these quasi duplicates here in this matchup. They're our first card sideboarded out. I can no longer stand by and watch. You need to slow down. Basically, what I feel, yeah, I just, I pick them by what I feel like playing, and also I try to vary the, the, the decks and everything, have some variety. Okay, that's good. Didn't get countered, that's good. Or, not didn't get countered, there wasn't... Sorry, did, like, the branch walker didn't get mortified or anything like that. There's no instant speed removal. No that's time for a break.
What? Took quasi duplicate? But the car doesn't doesn't do anything. I kind of wanted a 3-2 Krasis here because Teferi's at 3 loyalty. Usually the 2-1 Kra or sorry, Ranger, Jade Light Ranger. Usually the 2-1 Jade Light Ranger is, is the best, you know, getting the extra card advantage, but with Teferi at 3 loyalty, I was hoping for a 3-2. Oh, I like a good fight. No to be gone. I, I don't know of any. Time for plan. I don't know what you're talking about, hero. Of how the opponent messed up the. I don't know what you're referencing. How they messed up a Teferi play and lost six loyalty on a Teferi. If you think the first Teferi could have tucked the Jade Light, it couldn't. The first Teferi was at you know, not enough loyalty to tuck. Whenever they, they drew I'm a card with the first one and then played a second one to tuck. No, they did not plus the Teferi to seven loyalty. They plus it up to two. It was at one loyalty and then went up to two. I attacked it with the Jade Light Ranger before. It was at, you know, like, played it, went to five. Uh, then I attacked it with Jade Light Ranger to make it two. All right, sideboarding. So same thing, Wild Growth Walkers and Quasi Duplicates out, um, and the Climb out also. I think I didn't take out the Climb last time for another Canopy. All right, so hand was really slow there. Like our first play was gonna be turn five Vivian. That was gonna be our first play, and that's just too slow. Um, Upon being on the play, got to before we got to play the Vivian, uh, played a Chemister's Inside, and then the Thought Erasure plus Negate to protect the Thought Erasure to take my Vivian, and then double to Fairy. All right, let's try to get on the battlefield earlier. Okay, we're on the battlefield earlier. Don't have anything else, so. We're going to hopefully just be drawing our counter magic and everything. This can certainly be a hand where we just flood out, you know, like a one Cry of the Carnarium or Kaya's Wrath kind of thing. That's a terrible draw. Mm. I just can't keep I just can't take that biogenic ooze right now. It's just too late before it matters. Well definitely glad we didn't keep it. Preach true with the sub. Welcome to the channel, Preach. Thank you so much for subscribing. Alright, they're down to seven. Just beating them down with these two creatures.
I'm oh, sorry. They're gonna have to deal with these eventually. I think they were kind of sitting there with like absorb and everything and waiting for me to play stuff to be able to gain life. And just never did. <laughs> uh, sorry you didn't get the chance, Rex. Tried fitting as many people as we could in. You know, we got 29 matches in on, on Sunday. It was a lot of fun, but... And we'll get... You know, we'll be doing the sub-battle stuff. You know, more and everything. And That's not... Not just a one-time thing. So, you get me next time. This is a good hand. Whoa. They must be missing some lands, because seeing I have three three lands, three creatures in hand that they saw, and they got rid of Kaya's Wrath. Hmm. So shock, but not too blue. Yep, that's what I expected. I expected that Mortify. Or, you know, just Mortify moment. Yeah, because Moment of Craving, they wouldn't have shocked. So this is probably Chemistry's Insight here. No, no insight. That's good for us. So if, if our opponent does have a sweeper... I think I'm okay with Jade Light Ranger also going in there to get sweeped away because of how impactful Biogenic Ooze is. Uh, but now that we know we can resolve Vivian, let's just get Vivian up down there. Beasts. And plus, I like I really liked how Jade Light would set up our next draw of like looking for either Vivian, Krasis, or Counter Magic. We found one of those. This isn't a fight you can win. Yeah, this is doing well so far. We're 2-0. We're playing against Esper Control. Yet again. Just played against Esper. But our last opponent had a budget mana base with Esper. Let's this one does not... Saturday got third at a 60 person IQ playing Jeskai Niv with main deck Sarkin. Good job, Rex. So even though that resolves, our opponent only has one card left in hand. Whew, that's a nice crisis. And their Teferi's dead because they tucked earlier. Time. Just one card in hand. It's looking great for us. All right, Frilled Mystic. Ooh, Tana just picks it up. Apart. 
All right. Three and O, oh, and we got a booster. Goma says, hey, Todd, I started to play this deck, but I didn't want to spend that many wild cards. So I replaced two Quasi Ooze for two Mirror Image and three Jade Light for three Sailor Amines. What do you think? Um, I think... I don't I don't love... Like, the Jade Lights are pretty important. The Quasi Duplicates aren't, aren't nearly as important, so switching those out for Mirror Image is, is fine. Um, also playing things like... I think I'd rather have, like, Frilled Mystic than, than Mirror Image. Um, you know, just put it... Or, like... Uh, you know, just other, like, Simic cards, like playing more Incubation Druids, or if you have, like, Growth Chamber Guardians, maybe that's what you could do instead of Jade Lights, play Growth Chamber Guardians. Um, that kind of stuff. I don't really like Sailor Amines. I think I'd, I'd rather have... I uh, just got 20 gems. Maybe even the Blue Explore creature. If you were playing Wild Growth Walkers. I know it's a lot worse than Jade Light, but, yeah. All right, did not get a Mythic. We already got all the rares in Ravnica Legion, so the packs are basically just seeing if we get a Mythic or not. All right, so we are 3 and 0. Oh. We're going to our fourth match. We'll just take a quick second to tell y'all about move movement. Movement makes... Nice, stylish watches and sunglasses. I have the blue uh, watch with brown strap. Check out their site. I put the referral link, um, my referral link there in the chat. And if you use the referral link and use the coupon code ToddStevensMTG, you get 15% off your purchase. I like the it sleeves. Those are pretty nice looking. Yes, I'll, I'll be getting those, Cinder. I'll... I'll get to Platinum this season to make sure to get the... Uh, Vrasa's Contempts. The Vrasa's Contempt. What do you think about going Soul Tie for Hostage Shaker and Thief of Sanity? It would probably make the deck better to go Soul Tie, especially with Find Finality, even. Um, honestly, probably improve the deck. The I mean, wild. <laughs> yeah, like just playing Get Hostage Shaker and Find Finality. I don't, I don't know about if Thief of Sanity is really needed in this deck, but yeah, Sultai is. Sultai is really strong. Yeah, third Esper in a row. All right, same sideboard plan. It's been working out. Oh, right, I could just attack with the Jade Light first because then the land transforms and then play Vivian. So it could have had that four damage. Right, right, right. Yeah, I changed the I just changed the deck just a tiny bit this time. We took out the dive downs in this the main deck and just replaced dive down with negate. And so putting the two negates into the main deck cleared up to uh, sideboard slots. And we have an extra disdainful stroke in there now and a ripjaw raptor. So interesting attacking the Lanor Elf, not the Jade Light. 
and not even wanting cast down here. We have the two creatures there, and getting her a moment of craving also. So not wanting the two mana one for one removal spells. So if I play Ooze and Mewen has a sweeper, we just have another Ooze. The other option besides playing an Ooze is just adapting this Druid and we have six power on the battlefield with the two with these and see if we can get a sweeper out of these two cards and then play another Ooze and then we have an Ooze after that. I think I'm good at playing the Ooze. Three cards in hand, you gotta have white mana and Kaya's Wrath. There's white mana, there's Kaya's Wrath. Okay, well, did. Now do you have another Kaya's Wrath? Because we, we can't sit back and wait forever with Ascanta and everything, so. I like force in the hand there. Let's slow. Keep up the pace. All right. Hopefully, no removal spell. Uh, yep. Yeah, looks like. Well. Yeah. Because otherwise, if it wasn't removal spell, it would have just shocked in. No more games. Hmm. Wish I would just play the branch walker. Could have drawn one of those. <laughs> you know what? I'm not done yet. We're not in a good spot here with this active Escanta. Uh, not not looking not liking where we are right now. I mean that that should just be game. Well, I guess, I guess they don't get to cast the Krasis. Oh no, removal spell. All right. All right, let's try again. Let's see if we can find any of our eight counter spells. We, did, we had zero of them that time. We want early creatures and counter magic. Ugh. This hand it's pretty bad. We have like a counter spell. We don't have any early creatures. Like we just don't do anything. Hmm. This hand's pretty bad. We are good against specifically Search for Escanta. That is, that's a plus. Let's see if we can draw an Explore creature. Or a Mana creature. We're hoping to draw one of those 14. A mana creature or an Explore creature. I'll be playing this on, you know, I'll be playing this on turn 4 likely. Um, to cycle it. Well, this is certainly a hand I could see us losing. Very nice. That was not nice. I don't like getting rid of one of my precious Vivians for nothing.
hopefully not cry the carnarium. If you even cry the carnarium would tap my opponent out and then I'd be able to slam Biogenicus. My plan is just to kind of keep on attacking with these until the opponent kills them and then play ooze after that. I countered the cast down though. We got some good damage in with. Oh gosh. Got some good damage there in with the branch walker. He hit three times, hit for nine. so difficult not playing Vivian. Oh, you're welcome, Nagoo. Thanks for watching. lost so much already. I won't lose more. So now probably has to deal with this Vivian, but then we got the six power on the battlefield also. We're in a tough spot. I am not going to sit this one out. That branch walker was like our perfect draw. That turn two branch walker. Did a lot for us, you know, getting that nine damage in and everything. Yeah, ooze, ooze is similar to Whisperwood Elemental, isn't it? It's a good, is much more it's a good comparison. Think. Uh, now what? All right, so we have lethal and a counter spell. And that's good for us. That's still good for us. Like we only have one spell left, whatever that spell is, we frilled mystic it. Did not have the spell. That would have been a little bad for me if it was like absorb, because then they gain enough life to stay alive. So then I'm like, ah, then I got a frilled mystic that, then they could have like a moment of craving or whatever. Alright, 4 and 0. 3 0 versus Esper. Let's see who is the final boss. Is it Esper Control yet again? Possibly. Time to get the final boss playlist in there. Let's get those final boss emotes in the chat. We have exactly 50,000 gold now. Should probably. Yeah, exactly 50,000 gold. Perfect. On the dot. <laughs> so that's 50 packs of War of the Spark that we'll be buying whenever it comes out on the 25th. Down, 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 down. <laughs> I wish I could donate some gold. But no trading in Arena. Bum, 
All right, here we go. So, the pre-order bundle, it's okay. I think it's, I think it's good value if, yeah, I think it's good value if you don't like playing limited whatsoever, and if you are planning on spending money, um, and, you know, getting, getting packs of War of the Spark anyway, and you weren't planning on playing any limited, I... I think that playing sealed and drafting, but especially sealed, is is a better way to use like the fifty dollars of gems towards getting the cards from the new set. But if you, yeah, if you don't, um, yeah, there you go. Wow, Growth Walker. All right, we got Sultai for our final boss. Sin Christ with the sub from Boot. Thank you so much, Boot. Santa Boot. Getting that gifted sub. Enjoy all those awesome emo emotes. Emotes? Emotes? Man, I am just kind of... I'm a little off it today. <laughs> Talking-wise. Oh, I've been saying the wrong words. Good old emus. Moating around. <laughs> Alright, Biogenic, Biogenic Ooze can handle this for us. I really wish we would be casting the Biogenic Ooze this turn. I think, since I'm not casting anything else, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use a use the Quasi-Duplicate since I have nothing else to do this turn. Just Jade Light again. Cool. So many lands. <laughs> Words are hard. If I double block Wild Growth Walker, they could use instant speed removal to kill said wild, wild growth walker or sorry to kill to kill one of my jay lights and to save said wild growth walker they don't got no instant speed removal Okay, they do. Well, then it's possible that we're dead. Hey, Yud. We are... We are 4-0, which is good news, but we're about to be down a game. In speed removal is going to be b difficult to beat either way. No matter what I draw that that next turn I'm dead. I don't have any anything else from there. So I want all the melodies. And I want this disdainful stroke. I'm going to cut a negate. 
This is the matchup where not having dive down certainly hurts. Cut the druids. Cut another negate. All right, we'll do this. This is the matchup for Dive Down because of Hostage Taker. Gosh. These are not good hands. Good thing we have an extra life. Yeah, we'll give this a try. If only Hansel and Harbor was breeding pool. This would be a lot better. Depends on your 75, whether to keep Wild Growth Walker in, in the mirror. I honestly kind of like Wild Growth Walker in the mirror. Sure, there are times that it gets completely outclassed and, you know, makes other cards like Hostage Taker look pretty good kind of thing, but... It also runs away with games. So we're not attacking for one here, but we could get like the... Hmm. We could have gotten our Simic Guildgate, and then I would have felt silly by playing the island and, and us not having the Guildgate anymore. Quasi duplicate plus new Gideon. Is your your plan is to to copy the new Gideon because it's a legendary creature. You can't have two of the same legend with the same name and play. I did just set myself up to get blown out by finality by playing well by playing this other land war elf in particular I just didn't I didn't need to play that land war elf all right good no finality the reason to play the land war elf of course is to get more mana for crisis because now if we draw land we can have recall crisis Ah, getting the helm of the host. For that Gideon. There you go. I was hoping for another land before I crisis to ha to draw three, but obviously I'm not getting rid of that crisis. I decided to go through and watch them. See, I've honestly the the last season. You're talking about Game of Thrones, the last season, season seven, the one that was on previously, not the upcoming one, not like last season, the upcoming one. But that was the one that I thought was the best by a long ways. It was my favorite. It was kind of focused. You know, like there wasn't as much. <laughs> I 
you, you thought season seven was so bad it was my favorite by a long ways i don't know it's just more uh big picture stuff and So a lot of cool things happened, but the pacing and dialogue was terrible, and there were zero arcs. No. I just thought it was a lot... Um, I don't know, I liked how a lot less crude it was than the other seasons. Six, seven. So do I cast Krasis for seven now, or play this land war elf and wait till next turn and have eight and draw an extra card if I wait a turn? Reason to do seven over. The reason to do seven instead of six, so because you know I could do six and play the land or elf, but six means that it's only a three turn clock with them being at night, or sorry, it's a four four turn clock with them being at nineteen. If I attack for six, then six, then six, it only deals eighteen damage. So they would still been at one. But seven, attacking for seven, then seven, then seven. Build them a tag quicker. That's true, even if they jade light the, the wild growth walker, it turns into a six eight. Please, no finality. Dang. That's brutal. So we have two creatures survive. They have three creatures survive. The good news is we still have the most important creature on the battlefield, the 7-7 seven, seven Krasis. Those other cards we drew off the crisis don't matter. Ugh. Uh, Border, and that was in season six. Finality came right at the right time. My biogenic ooze. I was gonna be able to attack with all. Like I was gonna be attacking with all those oozes the next turn. Finality was at the perfect time. Doesn't. Doesn't look like we're winning this one either now. Border on with the sub. Thank you very much for staying for five months here. Says, thanks for your content. Which card are you most excited for in War of the Spark so far? Well, I think that... I think I think Nicol Bolas is the best card I've seen so far. And it's probably the one that I'll be playing the most, uh, especially right away. Playing Grixis with Bolas. Uh, 
Okay, we got our first loss. Sultai got the semi mirror. While Biogenicus takes over, it is weak against Finality, and we saw that there. Finalities plus Chupacabras were both those two cards in particular were what killed us there. All right, so we got we had an extra life. The bolus artifact. I don't know of a, a bolus artifact. I don't. I don't know yet, Matthew. Blink of an eye. So yeah, this looks like Simic Nexus, not Gates, which I'd, at first was thinking it was Gates. first because of Frilled Mystic. Don't want Frilled Mystic just to block the Jade Light. whole lot in our sideboard for this matchup with all of our crushing canopies and counter magic. But don't have any of that stuff right now. God Pharaoh statue. That's the bolus artifact, God Pharaoh statue. Ah, yes, that card. That card looks brutal in Commander. God Pharaoh statue, that is. Spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast. And then at the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses one life. Oh, Bolus' Citadel is the artifact? Why, why Gristle, who said the Bolus Artifact looks fun, too bad it's legendary, said God Pharaoh Statue after that. Okay, we get another turn. Likely for not, looking over here.
Basically looking for just like my two negates or maybe one of my Vivians to kill a Reclamation. Looks like we're going to be going for both sideboard games, which I think we can probably win the sideboard games. Still another insight and the memorial to genius. And all those cards in hand. I wonder why growth spiral is an instant. I guess because it's blue. That's the blue part of it. Okay, we'll get rid of these. Get rid of those. And I think I want to keep Climb, actually. I like the, the clock that Climb can present. I'm going to get rid of Biogenic Ooze, though, because it's... Exp it's pretty expensive. So instead of cutting Wild Growth Walker like I usually do against Control, keep Wild Growth Walker because it's cheaper. And get rid of the Biogenic Ooze. Because at least we get to play a 1-3. And even though it's attacking for 1 for now, that's at least something. Definitely consider just having Negate available for us Kanta, but it's like, what are we going to do? Just have Negate available for like the whole match, you know? It's like, I want to get the Wild Growth Walker in play. No more cards for you. So I, I should be tapping the Lana War Elf there. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. Because if yeah, if they would have bounced, if they would have just gone and bounced the Llanowar Elf, then I have to, like, the consider, like, countering the Llanowar Elf or not. 
Bouncing the Vivian doesn't make a ton of sense. I don't really know exactly what our opponent was doing there. why they didn't just bounce there as Kanta. So the attack for five means that and playing the land off now means that we have six uh, power on the battlefield. Thanks for that resub. You are awesome. Thank you. All right, eighty five here. So getting that Frilled Mystic off the battlefield means they don't have the ability to turn a Blink of an Eye into a counter spell because they can't Blink of an Eye back a, a Frilled Mystic and then counter something. The The biggest reason why I would like keeping Ooze is to fight opponents' Oozes. So maybe I should keep Ooze instead of Wild Growth. And this has also been you know a, a bad showing for Wild Growth how we haven't seen an, any Explore creature, of course. I don't love where we're at here. A removal for this crisis and we're in trouble. I certainly think my opponent has another Frilled Mystic. I guess I just run this into the Frilled Mystic. No Frilled Mystic. How this thing goes. Can we find Frilled Mystic? Up to you, pal. Come to me. So why not play Krasis on five? Uh, in case, like, we could have drawn, like, another Land War Elf I could have played that, that other turn. Um, whether it was on five or four is a two-turn clock when they're at six. And I don't, I don't think either one mattered too much in that respect. I think they have, like, four damage for a burn spell. So it looks like their only chance here is to have a fog or a fog or a blink of an eye. And we had that counter spell that we were representing the whole time.
I don't I still don't think I want ooze over wild growth. Wild growth did some some good work there. Like it did better work than ooze would have done. Yeah, let's just keep that in there. It it can be tough for us to get through ooze for sure. But that's why I, I like that I'm keeping the Hadana's climb. That's a, a good way to get over news. Nero Juma with that resub. Welcome back. Hmm. This is a tough one to keep. Jade Light's great. I mean, I, I like Jade Light and Vivian a lot. And I like, like, I basically like three land Jade Light Vivian, but the fourth land and the fifth land. If we keep, we just hope we draw our sideboard cards. I'm, I think I'm leaning towards keeping. Uh, tough, tough to say, Skyzo. Um, Vivian is is amazing, and I I like playing three Vivians in a lot of decks because it is so so strong. But it's you know it's, it's hard for me to say that you should craft third Vivian um, because you know I don't know like your your wild card situation or like what deck or all that kind of stuff. Um, Wow, those are the three worst draws we could possibly have in our deck right there. The three worst possible. That was worst possible also. Could not have gone worse for us. Well, at least I'm glad I kept Jade Light Ranger, otherwise, we would have Incubation Druid, and I liked having that Jade Light Ranger do a little bit more for us. That's pretty silly, Joyf. A good deck has no bad draws. That's pretty silly. What's my favorite spoiler from War of the Spark right now? Favorite? Wilderness Reclamation is so good. So much mana. Not even tapped out. Just play a precognitive perception and not even tapped out. I, have, I just have nothing. Don't have any of my eight counter spells or my three canopies. Just have nothing. If I don't play anything, you know, like they just get to keep on insiding and everything. Gosh, this is just so bad. Seven cards. Ugh, keep this hand. Our first three draws were horrible. I don't know what, to do, what I don't know what I can do. I don't I don't think I can win. And I can't find any way to win.
So I didn't really care to play that Vivian, but just have nothing else to do. I don't know if I answered the question earlier because I was just, you know, thinking about the game here, but the card from War of the Spark that I am most excited about now is probably Paradise Druid. If I did, I think I answered that. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. They have 34 cards left. We did not get to defeat our final boss. I mean, my hand was bad. I guess I should have mulliganed. That was just such a close one. It's the kind of hand where, you know, it's good to hit land drops when you have a deck with threats and counter magic because you need to be able to double spell. You need to be able to play things and be able to counter things. And we saw that, like, how... That's what Wilderness Reclamation does. You know, they got to play Wilderness Reclamation on four, plus still play the draw two. And then the next turn, they get to play a, you know, well, they play a Nexus on turn five, but then for Cognitive Perception and still have Growth Spiral plus Frilled Mystic, you know, like be able to play things and have counter magic is, is what you need. And so catch the five lander with the Jade Light, um, hoping to have the, you know, draw some things in the first three turns and then. Jade Light goes and and really digs towards more counter magic, but we didn't draw anything in the first three turns, and Jade Light didn't find anything, and it was just the worst possible scenario. I guess I should mulligan that. I think our deck is really good against theirs after sideboarding, so I should just lean into the power of having these other cards. You know, we have eight counter spells, and the canopies are really nice to go with, like the aggressive creatures with the explore things and the fast mana with the land of incubation druid. I like our deck a ton in that matchup after sideboarding, you know, game one is game one stuff for us to win. And so if we lose game one, like we did that match, we need to be perfect in sideboarding games. And so that hand was not anywhere close to perfect and needed. It had like, <clears throat> it had like two of the three things I wanted. It had, um, you know, explore creature to put a clock on, and it had the land drops that we got to keep hitting. It just didn't have interaction. Didn't have counter magic or canopy. So we didn't have any interactions. We had two of the three, but we had the least important one, which the, the interaction is the most important one. I guess hitting land drops is pretty important, too. So ended up four and two. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching some quasi-duple ooze, and I'll see you for the next video.